Imagine. doing welcome to rock to alive right here on y254 tv we're so excited to have you guys join us i know my name is philine we've given you just a whole hour for you guys to enjoy without interrupting right more music let's talk we're all about that now if you're just joining us for the first time the show is rock to alive my name is philine you can find me across all social media pages at philine jean and as always the hashtag to get on is hashtag rock tour 254 and today i have two djs in studio i have our very own right here the rock activist dj hugh skills and of course i have the rock diva herself DJ girlfriend. Yes, I <laughs> know. Last girlfriend. week she was DJ Liquid G. Today she's DJ girlfriend. How are you doing? I've been you good. Doing? I've been good. <laughs> You're confusing people. No, like, no, no, no. Uh huh. Now it's girlfriend. D DJ girlfriend. Girlfriend. Why? Tell us why did you decide to change your name and why girlfriend? Because it's more fun. Mm -hmm. It's all about fun. Music is all about fun. So yeah. Why not? And you're all about that girl power. Yeah. All right, now I get it. I understand. She's the diva, of yeah, course. Yeah. So, yeah, I really totally get that. Girl. The girl, girl. No street children don't say girl. So girl. girl. It's girl. Like, and, by, girl. and by the way, if you're like, if you're gonna check her out, DJ girlfriend with a U. It's not yeah. I, right? Yeah, yeah. DJ girlfriend with a U. Maybe with a your girlfriend. There's a song, a song that can go with that. Yeah. DJ yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. It's girl. You know. All right. Girl. All right. I see that. And then she looks like that chick who comes through for you. Yeah. Like girl. Yeah. yeah. I'm not even dealing with him. No more. Yeah, like, you know, this guy you like you're, you're the one he called. When yeah, he just any like he can shoot out. I know. I know. Awesome. But good to have you guys back. Like, yeah. how was your week? How are you doing? My week has been interesting. Mm -hmm. I've been all. I've been. I've been doing. Uh, what can I say? I've been doing a lot of sound work. Uh huh. Well, in Jana, we did a lot of banger. All right. Yeah, we did some a lot of Kenyan authentic sound. We were mm -hmm. doing some little things of Pendwa. Oh. It's very interesting. I really okay. enjoyed it. And then also, I got the privilege of. Doing sound, sound, what do we call it? Monitoring sound for doing Stevenson and the field. You're As lying. I've, I've just been all, I've just been like a, hey. a rust moon, rust moon. Superstar. <laughs> I need a selfie. You should take a selfie with him before he goes. Like, yeah. I need a, he's a superstar. Yeah, he awesome. does everything. <laughs> that was so, awesome. So, but what I like, has been like that journey. What I like about him, he's, he's uh, actually totally very diverse. He's a music teacher. So, Malikuna Rege, Malikuna Nini, Malikuna Nini, Malikuna But, he's loyal to rock though. Yeah, he's definitely. Like even they know. Yeah. Even, even when it's just that he told me not to air it, but they've been rock with even the bill. Yeah. Like, oh, you've rock, DJ? Rock and reggae. The only Walk one, one, man. The, yeah. This, this is life. the wave. Yeah, yeah, this is the wave. You just can't say, lock, lege, lager. That one. Lock, lege, and lager. Yeah, the one music did is sent to a lock, lege, lager. So, I absolutely, totally did that. Now, I want to know how you guys doing, you know, the hashtag to get on Rock Tour 254. <laughs> and of course, don't forget to tag us at Rock Tour 254. 254. Yes, that's on yeah. Facebook and Twitter. Mm. And of course, don't forget to tag us to White 54 channel mm. as well at DJ Girlfriend. Is it official Girlfriend. yet? Oh, it's, where can people uh, find you? Okay, it's uh, officially on mm. Instagram only. Mm. I'll yeah. change later. Um, on Twitter and Facebook, it's going to change. Yeah. All right, but DJ Liquid G mm -hmm. is done with, and now it's DJ Girlfriend. Yep. And of course, at Hugh Skills, yep. that's on Facebook, on Twitter, mm -hmm. and on Instagram, at Hugh Skills One. More yeah, Ivy. More yeah, just. Now we should want to change that anniversary. Yeah, so there's, there's some change happening. Huh? Ah. I'm seeing some fraternity there's changes happening. There's a wave. Happening. There's a yeah. wave coming. Yeah, she's changing her name. Uh -huh. So uh, it has to be a whole something, you know. Farm, farm goes right. as, a, as a unit. All right, I'm all yeah. about that. I'm yeah, all about yeah, that. Yeah. Now today. So something interesting happened. It's not mm. interesting, quite actually. <coughs> so today's topic, today we're asking, are kids raising themselves? That's the topic okay, we okay. are asking the guys at home. Uh -huh. Simply because, now um, last week I went to the salon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, home too. And then, you know how kids are always brought, yeah, yeah. like the house brings the kid. So the house, the household brings the kid with a phone, yeah? What? So the phone like this. 
but that, that's my phone like this one mm-hmm. it's the mom's phone so the mom has like different phones mm-hmm. and then the kid is in the salon and ashukwa and she's watching like videos on her mom's phone and you know what she was watching <laughs> adult videos so everybody oh. in the salon is like yo oh. Oh, like, you know she's not your kid. They still don't even have the mandate to like. And then the kid is so I don't know, spoiled for lack of a better <coughs> word. So like, this is my mom's fun. Leave me alone. Look at you. Oh my god, you even shower. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> so guys are just like they've had it up to here. They're like, what is wrong with this kid? So <laughs> <laughs> how? <laughs> <It's not laughs> your kid. I'll pinch you. Let her come and sue me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I better go to court, but I'll <laughs> shut you up. What's that? Actually, interestingly, <laughs> the mom, the mom, her, the mom is very busy. She has a good job. She's a single parent, though. She has a good job, but she's always gone. So the baby is always good left. Job. Yeah, good job. good job. So she always has a comb. She has a phone. She has everything she needs. <laughs> so the question is, are kids raising themselves and like why like, are parents doing that? I mean, like, by the internet. And then you know these kids, the, the, the kind of kids who they know how to use the phone. So you do something, they'll call the mom. You do anything, they'll well, actually they'll yeah, call the mom and tell the mom to call her. They know how to use the call phone. Call that mother. Mm-hmm. I deal with how to. And as a mother, why would you give your child this kind of videos yeah, on your exactly. phone? That's the thing. Without a password, the, thing. the kid knows the password and everything. Mother will be like, call your mother. Call yeah. the, the father or even if she has a boyfriend with the boss. I'll, hey. I'll sort you. What, <laughs> what is that? And then it's this generation. And I'll shove that kid. You know, the, the, the generation we're talking about, the Kababa generation. Baba, Mama, you yeah. know, so they get anything they want, the they D&D get. D&D yeah, the Lee and Mami kind of generation. So are they raising themselves? Like, mm. that is what I want to ask the guys at home. Like, what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, I'm still thinking on the yeah, audience. Still yeah, just yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm still thinking. I want to get that salon already. I know, right? You need any? I need to be. Yeah, you look like the kid with your legs. Example, like come. What? <coughs> Leave me alone! I'm gonna tell mommy. Whoa, I'm gonna say. Oh, like, no, yo, this mommy needs to be yeah. taught. Like this mommy. But yeah, but that, that's mm-hmm. something true. Cause yeah. me and I, I had a, uh, I had a. Uh, a session over there last Sato. Yeah. Was this Sato last Friday? Yeah. Jana. Yeah. After the K event, yeah. I went for a Kesha man. Are you guys? So uh-huh. at church, you mm-hmm. know, Kesha me is like we do far more. Yeah. So Toy doesn't sleep early. So yeah. Kido was running all over. I started making noise. So me I pinched him. Me I'm that parent by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I could not keep See how he's mad right now. I was like, baby. <laughs> Good job. so you see as in i'm trying to say like even in church parents yeah. as in the mothers who are there yeah they're looking at you those, those of like we don't want to know we're not to know i'm talking about like this kid is not supposed to make noise in yeah, church yeah discipline you know? like yeah. have, have have parents yeah. forgotten their role okay they should uh, discipline them as they disciplined us right yes, and you your know, age you also would. no but you know right age. your parents yeah. Uh, the parents right now should discipline the, the way they were kids how we were and yeah. you no, were disciplined. They, you know, they, they have this mentality of Mimi too will only find you as if I am to talk to you. I was punished by my parent, yeah. my late mom, when I was 25. And mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just a, okay, I used to smoke. Mm-hmm. So I get the house and she's like, I don't even to visit her, blow her stuff. <laughs> In front, and I've gone with birdies, half a quarter. You need me. I have to say, I'm not a fat. I'm not a fat. I'm not a fat. Hey, guess what I said about, hey, what's up? Cool, yeah, for you. Because the bed is here. She's what? But you see, you look at that, and I can't cause this her house, and then she's mom. You yeah, know, yeah. The the There's that respect to mm. mom. So you're thinking, like, are you here, Pana? Yeah. I even saw another video going around online. It's actually very crazy. This kid is like two years. They is calling the mom by the name. Like, Pana agam to kana the B word. Wow. You just and then I'm like, wow. What? Two years. In uh, no clue. Don't help me. In Kenya. Yeah. That clue is not yet true yet. Before it is true, 
Me, even if I'm going to the kid to the States, yeah. after you've cut there five years, and now you know yeah. the laws, at least considered me, at you, you can't go there, I'm like, okay, it's mm-hmm. okay. Embassy, attack a visa, you can't go to Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> you can't go to the airport. Dude, what do you say? You know, what do you say? We'll go like that, you have to take a look. I'll go to the Kenya. I'm going to go back. Yeah, you. Did you ever, have you ever, like, you see, you're like, you're going to go back to Kenya, and then your mom is just looking at you. And then she gives you one look. Yeah, yeah. you know that. You just feel like, you just okay, know, like, who's 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 And you know this thing is not yet done. I love you. You must have a point. Oh, I'll get you a point. Wait now. Mm. And then uh, or else. Yeah? You know, you're not even ready. <laughs> like, so, I don't think people are doing that anymore. Like, our yeah. kids, if you have any experiences, just make sure you share them with us. The hashtag, mm. of course, rock to a 254. At Philin Jean, at DJ, girlfriend, right here. Yeah. And of course, at Hugh Skills, at Y254 channel. Oh, and sorry. at rock to a 254. Now, I want to shout out uh, my friend, <laughs> Annie Tua. Abby Sunshine, Abby Sunshine, <laughs> hi, what's up? She's watching the show from when we yeah, started. I have yeah. Milton right here. Uh, DJ, 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 yeah, DJ, DJ Milton, big up, man. Hey, DJ Sun, DJ hey. Sun is also watching. Hey, so, yeah, I'm sound, a DJ bro, Leo, yeah. I'm a Tukuri. Son of the Nations. Manze, son so, of sound. Nations. Big up, big up, big up. So, a big shout out to you, each and every one of you that are locked in right now. I'm much semi rocked in. <laughs> rocked in. <laughs> Yes, it's rock. It's rock. 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 Now I have Mbudhia Kelvin and as I'm representing County 021. Yeah, I really think kids nowadays do what they want because parents accorded them too much freedom. I mm-hmm. honestly I agree. You guys agree, right? Yes. They've given them too much freedom. So what do you think we should do, right? Should we go back to Pigwe and Sulema? What, what, what happens? Mm. Let's turn your kids back. Right? Now I have Levis Mburu and I say, keep it Y. Yes, keep it mm. Y254 right here, Levis. And Kamau Gitari Watumaini and I say, Mama, tum- Mm-hmm. Ma mitambuini kama kawaida hapa Venus Kinyozi tumaini hey, nyandarwa mali Kinyozi uweza kuna choko Kinyozi ni kama thank you so much for watching nyandarwa county na volume iko sawa mzee ongezeni volume ni ro pigeni kelele ndio itakara wama Okay, come out, guitar, what you mind? I wish I to you and your crew, right? Yeah. And I have KK Senior Kihara, and I have a present from Nyeri. What's that? Yeah. 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 Hi, thank you so much for watching. And then Travina. Mbaka and some of present from Naro. Can you know what you got? Yeah. Naro. 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 That's the second home. Yeah, yeah. I shout out to comes from yeah. Na na Joana Naro. Naro um there's a place called Naira Gangare. My my uncle. Oh yeah. Okay. I know my uncle you see stay there. Yeah, it's a place called Naira Gangare. It's called Naira Gangare. It's called Naira Gangare. Before you get to Naro. It's called Naira Gangare. So shout out to all the guys from there, man. I know. The first time I was doing there because um I went alone. I love sending you about to near there. Nilishinanga unaonanga bila mtu yutuma nikasema nerejanga Hata nikisalimia yes, sikusalimia I'm just like nerejanga Kidogo unga 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 sawa sawa una na una na Nairobi nerejanga Kisha Don't really forget that name you do Yes to say Hey and now I have uh, Steve Kihu and it's my show ni nare bin kiri okay kiri rimbi Okay, thank you Rimbi, keep the fire burning. Hi Steve. I'm sorry to you. Thank you for watching. I have Ronald Kinyo there and I said like, okay, okay. So I think he's like totally locked. Thank you so much. We were a keyboard. I said like he's watching. What's up? Mnaendana. Keyboard. We were a keyboard. He's a keyboardist, yeah. All right, shout out to you. Each and every one of you that are tuned so that is on watch for page and I come back I'll be sampling some of your comments on our rock to a page and of course Twitter and our Instagram people not forgetting you guys. I be sunshine. I be shout out to you. Not like to joke so how ni nona ni nona ni nona. All right, so let's do this. We have normally our top 3 at 6. I think it's six already, so we're gonna play that. Mm. Then come back with more show for you. We still have that band profile, and today it's an interesting band. The so you gotta, band, yeah. yeah, you have to stay here. You have to keep it here. Don't forget she, to tweet us at uh, DJ Girlfriend at Feeling mm-hmm. Jean on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even on YouTube. Subscribe on my channel, right? Oh, okay. Right here. So, so.
at Hugh Skills, oh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter. Hugh Skills One, <laughs> and of course at Rock Tour Two Five Four. The hashtag Rock Tour Two Five Four as well. We're gonna be right back, so keep it here. Feel? But now we're gonna play you our top three <laughs> at six. Oh, you don't tell them the band, so we tell them oh, after. We tell them. Okay. Okay. We can tell them after. Let we can tell them out. after or right now. They're pretty much obvious. So it's let, obvious. Let, 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 let me just. Well, it's it can never up. be obvious. They're first time watchers. Those people who never watch. So maybe let's do some magic. So, all right, let's, do, so let's just do this and then break with that. Top three at six. Today mm -hmm. you're having Skillet. I love Skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love Skillet. That song is awake. Mm -hmm. And then we have number two, Icon for Hire. Rock and yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. See, this, right. this is my name Yes, and then you have mm. number three, Pink. Fun house. Yeah, I love yeah, uh, pink. Everybody loves Pink. Yeah. 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 But I can imagine Pink being your mom. She's so lost to mine. I would love that. Can you still be a fun house? Yes. I'm going to say a pop sauce. No, no, that is pink. You know, pink anything rock can be good. All right, so let's do that. Let's play our top three at six, and then we're gonna come back with more show for you. So stay here, and of course, keep talking to us. Our kids are raising themselves. We'd love to hear from you, right? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back, guys. Keep it white, tea, faithful. All right, thank you so much for staying with us, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, if you're joining us, the show is Rock Tour Live. My name is Feline, and of course, I'm with DJ Liquid G right here representing. You for How you doing? DJ girlfriend. DJ girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> I'm still stuck on that little G. You'll forget this, it. It's gonna take me a while to adjust, though. You understand, yeah? Probably. All right. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. Like so. It's okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's cool. It's, yeah, cool. it's cool. So, in regards to our topic today, I have two guests in studio. They just thought they're gonna share their sentiments about the topic of discussion we are having today, and they're right here. So I'm gonna give them a chance to introduce themselves. Starting on, uh, okay. So I'm gonna start here, then there. <laughs> All right, I, I wanted to say my left and right, but then the whole thing confused me. <laughs> right. So I never, this is my right actually. Today, I think this is my right, yeah. and then this is my left. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start on my right. 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 Start with him, then her. Right. So, hi, how are you doing? Hi, hi, Pelin. I'm all right. Thank you so much for having us. By You're most welcome. <laughs> this is my first time on this set, and mm -hmm. I'm really, really amazed. All right. Is it on? I think so. Let me see. Let me check. Just give me a minute. Okay. This will be on um, right now. Right now, yeah. Technology. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me do that. Thank, uh, thank you for having us uh -huh. so much. Mm -hmm. My name is Anton Guaro. This is my camera, right? Yeah, yeah. My name is Anton Guaro, mm -hmm. and uh, I am an actor. I am a filmmaker, and my friend here yeah. is. Hi, everyone. Thanks, Philin. You're most Thank welcome. you, DJ Girlfriend, thank for you. your playlist. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to everyone that's watching. My name is Ngesu Brenda. I'm an actor, and also I'm a fashion designer uh -huh. and a dancer, too. So Yes. We are so excited to be part of the topic today. Yeah. Thank you so much, Feline. You're most welcome. Now, so today we are talking about kids. Our kids raising themselves right now because of what I shared. Went to the salon just last week. We are chilling. This kid, I'm a because I'm a little our um, house help, right? The mom is not there. The kid has a phone. She's watching videos and everybody just looks at her like, oh, what yeah, is going yeah. on? She's watching adult videos on her mom's phone. And she's very like, she is a total, in quotes, brat. Because mm -hmm. she's like, I'm going to tell my mom, who are you to tell me? You didn't even shower. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You know, so we have to talk to Kali, you get. Yeah, true. So I am Biwa anything. And the mama has raised her in a way that, Kosewa, just call me. If someone says anything, just call me. You get so yeah. she has that mentality. So I just thought like we need to talk about it. Our kids raising themselves <laughs> nowadays. And I know, so that's where you guys come in. <laughs> Let me have a first go at that. Exactly mm -hmm. what you're saying. Yeah. I think we're very defensive about our kids and we yeah. feel like it's us mm -hmm. against the world. Yeah. It's not like before when a kid could be raised by a community. Yeah. So many things have changed right mm -hmm. now. You cannot just touch anybody's kid, you know. Right. Even if you see somebody do a kid doing something wrong, it's very yeah. hard for you to go ahead and say, Hey, I think what you're doing is not right. Yeah. So many parents are very defensive about their kids. And right. they feel like, you're infringing my space if you're going to talk to my kid like that. I'd, you should come to me first. But you mm -hmm. see, that is happening right now. When I need to mitigate this situation right yeah. now. So by the time I'm getting to you, yeah. And you can tell someone's kid. And, and you can tell somebody's kid, kid hey, they'll get you arrested. I, yeah, they'll get you arrested. I think yeah. we are being, we're being yeah. westernized. The way yeah. things are happening in the West, that's how we're doing our thing right mm -hmm. now. Parents are overlooking 
uh, how much has to go into parenting. It's right. not just having kids and letting them be, you know. Mm -hmm. So much has to be um, considered yeah. when we are raising our children. That is something I think, as parents, we need to look at. Right. It's a very edgy topic, but mm -hmm. it needs to be talked about. Most kids are not being raised by their parents. They're being raised yeah, by... Because they raise themselves. They raise With themselves. With Netflix Literally. and Wi-Fi yeah. and everything at home. Exactly. Mom is not there, but you have everything you need at, at home. You, you, Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might find kids they're acting out like mm -hmm. they're they're erratic, they're edgy. They just right, so maybe you rowdy. can just move on. Yeah, right. right. That, they're, that's they're rowdy. Right. It's not because mm -hmm. uh, they want to be that way. It's because mm -hmm. they're not they're getting the attention that yeah. they ought to receive right. from their parents. Mm -hmm. So they're they're just redirecting that energy into mm -hmm. something that they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, alcohol, drugs, yeah, pornography, yeah, all those things. Yeah. And I think that is something that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. And I think this is maybe a topic for another day. Should yeah. the government buy pornography? I don't know. When I want to talk about a new world, <laughs> but that's for another day. Brenda, what are your sentiments? Do you agree with uh, Tony? Oh, well, at some perspective, yes. Mm -hmm. But then we also have to look at the idea that um, raising a child and giving them what they want is not mm -hmm. being a good parent. Yeah. You loving a child doesn't mean you don't scold them, doesn't yeah. mean you don't tell them what is right and what is wrong. Right. Why this child, for example, what you say, is mm -hmm. watching at this movie and feeling contented is because yeah. mom or the parent mm -hmm. did not tell them no, the reason why wrong. they should not. Yeah. Or the reason why they should stick to a certain. Mm -hmm. You can bring up your child without scolding, yes. Yeah. But if you give them a reason to do whatever they're doing and not to do whatever they should not be doing. Yeah. Make this kid understand. At some point, is uh, it's a child, yes. Yes. But at some point, you also need to treat them as adults. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they need to understand why things are happening the way they're happening. Right. And as much as you're busy as a parent, it doesn't stop you from being a parent. Mm -hmm. You need to create time, even if it's just a minute of every single day, Yeah. just to understand what kind of child are you bringing up. Right. So, yes, so much is in the blame of people mistaking, mm -hmm. loving, with, with providing. Providing. Yeah. Yes. So we tend to think that if you don't scold and if you give everything a ch uh, to a child, what yeah. they, whatever they ask, yeah. that is loving them. No. Mm -hmm. Loving them is making them understand how they're supposed to live their life. But then, I think there's this other issue. She's a single mom, right? Yes. So she has a kid with someone who is also, maybe there's this court and everything else involved. So maybe they are co-parenting. So you think, and I don't want that. So let me give her what she wants. So I can You get? So there's also that. The issue of maybe sharing a kid. Maybe this weekend I'm going to do the rest of the week. So you are, you are like, um, I can punish and I need them in my life. So maybe there is also that aspect. I really don't. <laughs> well, um, do your part. Yeah. Do your part. Mm -hmm. Don't compete. Because Without, at the end of the yeah. day, exactly. the copy that comes out of the child, mm -hmm. it's both of you. Yeah. But especially in our African culture, it's the mom. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm talking on a perspective of a single mother because right. I am. Yeah. And it's not like I spend most of the time with my child. Yeah. But whenever I get that time, I get to understand what kind of child mm. is he when I'm not around? Right. What is he doing wrong that I need to rectify yeah. before it gets out of hand? Right. If somebody tells me your child is doing this, which yeah. is not right, I find out yeah. and explain it to the child that whatever you did was wrong and yeah. you need to change. No, but I've met a child, her child, her, his name is Chad. He is the most amazing kid. He was my kid in a movie. <laughs> we did a movie. We did a movie and her son was my kid in a movie. It's He's amazing. Thank All you. right. Uh -huh. you, you've spoken so passionately about this. <laughs> <laughs> for me, what I have to say is mm -hmm. if you're co parenting, right. then you should do what's best for right. the kid, mm -hmm. not to look like I'm the better person. I'm the better person. Because oh, there's the that, day, you know, good that, cop, bad cop. Yeah, bad yeah. cop. So yeah. you have to, you're playing the good cop. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you could be doing something so that you can win custody for this kid. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's their life you're yeah, ruining. It's yeah. a life you're ruining. Yeah. So you should think about that. Right. You know, I feel like this topic came came in handy because mm -hmm. what we were talking about before we came here. Yeah. <laughs> parenting, I remember. Right? True. We talked yeah. about yeah. that yeah. for a long time. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. parents should teach their children yeah. to make their own decisions, mm -hmm. their own right decisions. Yeah. At times they could make their decisions and that these decisions are wrong. Yeah. 
but they learn to live with the consequences. Right. You should not make decisions for your children. You should teach them at a very mm -hmm. early stage and make them learn to make their own decisions. Right. That is the best way you can um, raise your children. Yeah. Again, uh, the, the consequences of what they are watching and what you're ex exposing them to, yeah. you should let them know. Why shouldn't you watch Porn Why at this watch? age. Yeah. Why shouldn't you do so this, young. this and that? Yeah, right. Most parents don't do that. Mm -hmm. You find your kid doing something wrong, the first thing is, yeah. like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. And you, you never see, told them it's yeah, wrong. You don't yeah. tell them yeah. the reason behind your scolding. Yeah, right. So they don't get to understand. At the, yeah. at the end of the day, they yeah. begin to be, they become rebels. Yeah. You know, they resent you. They can't even yeah. tell you when they have an issue. They you're not the first person they come into. Right. Yeah, it's true, true, true. So kids will share among themselves. Right. I'll go to my age mates and I'm like, yeah. oh my god, Brenda, I'm going through this. And you know, Brenda is just like me. We are the same age, so she doesn't know how to advise me. <laughs> so I, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, Phil, on, on what you're saying yeah. about uh, kids going out, yeah. we as parents you need to learn that, that your child should respect you and yeah. not fear you. Yeah. And exactly. that is where we go wrong. Because if you find a child doing something, instead of putting them down and making them understand why that is wrong, right. We become mad at them, we mm -hmm. start scolding them mm -hmm. and not giving them a reason. Yeah. So we instill fear. fear. Mm -hmm. So you find that if this child has an issue, she goes or he goes to the wrong person, person for advice. Who in return yeah. might either help or right. continue Make destroying. Right. And even still on that, you guys saw the issue of um uh, well there was this thing that has been happening a couple of months ago. Thank God it has stopped. Where the Kids in colleges don't take no for an answer. I want you, you don't want me, why? Like no one <laughs> has ever told me no my whole life. Like I get everything, I'm, uh, everything I want is given to me. Yeah. So I'm here, I'm feeling him and then he's like, no, exactly. I want a reason. Like why are you telling me no? Yeah, so, Elaine, yeah. let me address that. It's called the, <laughs> the snowplow uh, yeah. syndrome. Mm -hmm. the, these parents have taught their kids, they've cleared the path for their kids all the way from since they were young kids right. up until now mm -hmm. and they're into college they've been thrown out there mm -hmm. into the world and they don't understand that people have to work for something they yeah. don't know that yes they yeah. don't they don't they don't know you have to impress that girl you mm -hmm. have to talk to her yeah they just they're used to taking things you, so yeah. when 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 they are hit with a no on their faces they don't feel like okay what's mm -hmm. happening here like, I'm used to getting my way. I know. I'm used to getting like, my way. So what's happening right now is not right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do whatever I, I'm. Go, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to make this situation right. Mm -hmm. Even if that means going to the very extreme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shocker. Yeah, <laughs> and unfortunately, <laughs> that is Just what. Just make myself it, feel good. I'm serious. That's yeah. what it's resulted to, and that's what it's very quite unfortunate. But uh, these are youth stations, so I understand. Like most youths will be watching. We need to address that. Things mm -hmm. might not go your way. But you have to find a way to deal with that. There are better ways of dealing with things, but it starts at a very young age. So parents, we have teen, teen parents who watch the show. So you should yeah. just know you start training your kid when they are young. There's a difference between loving your kid and spoiling, spoiling. them. Yeah. Like, you know, because they're going to have to deal with these consequences in the future. Yeah. I think uh, parents mm -hmm. should also be friends to their kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like... If a kid feels like I need to talk to someone, yeah. they should go to the dad or the mom. Or the mom. Like, yeah. this yeah. is my a friend, but is right. a mother will give yeah. better advice. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm, yeah. I'm putting this point across. Not that I'm saying I'm a perfect parent. Yeah. But I have a child who's about to turn ten. Yeah. But believe in me, I've never used a stroke on this child. Yeah. But the turnout is different. Yeah. It's because instead of stroke, I decided to put him down and explain to him what real life is. Yeah. Tell this child, today there is this, today there is that. Yeah. This is an elderly person, you need to address them this way. Yeah. And if they wrong you, do not talk back. Yeah. Come and report to me so right. I can know how to handle it. Right. That way, this kid understands there is an age I can talk to right. this way. And there's this age that I just need to keep quiet and report to my mom so yeah. she knows how to do it. How to it. handle that. My right. son never mm -hmm. gets involved in fighting because he believes fight never solves anything. Anything, but which is true, honestly. So you explain yeah. to him that, yeah. 
you will know there are ways to approach issues. Right. But if you put your kid that he is everything and is always right, yeah. mm. that is then where this kid comes up yeah. and even argues with an elderly person. Right. Right. When he or she does something bad, it feels like you are stopping them, you're the yeah. one. You're the wrong one. Yeah. All right. This is a very wild topic and I feel like we need to continue this. <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately, we have to go to another segment. We call it Bind Profile. So on this uh, segment, we feature different bands. We tell people where the band came from and how they've done for themselves. So we're going to do that, then play more music. And I, I think you guys should come back, then you continue talking about this. Maybe <laughs> next doing. weekend or yeah. some other time we're going to expound yeah. on this yeah. just yeah. because of time, right? Yeah. Now, so today's band is a Linking Park. LP, I know most people, you know what Linking Park is, oh, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. right. Most guys know <laughs> Linking <laughs> Park. I know, right? <laughs> Nam. Everybody knows Nam. All right, now, so Linking Park is an American rock band from California. The band's current lineup comprises of vocalist and rhythm guitarist Mike Shinoda, lead guitarist Brad Dalson, bassist Dev Farrell, and of course DJ keyboardist Johan, and drummer Rob Bardon, all of whom are founding members. Vocalist Wakefield and Chester Beddington and bassist Kyle Chest okay, Chestner are former band members. Now, Linkin Park um, came into the limelight, that is, uh, they were first known as Zero. You know, zero X E R O. Yeah, they were first known as zero. That was in nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine. Alright, so they were active. Okay, so they were active in nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine. They took a hiatus, then came back again. That was um until twenty seventeen. Then they also took another hiatus. Now they're hiatus. Like I've told you, we keep talking about this. And rock bands love taking hiatus. Hiatus is when you you are banned, but then you take a break from doing projects as a band now you focus on personal growth of personal projects but you're not broken up you're still a band but you're not together so it's a higher i think most creatives usually do that, do that. Yeah. yeah you have that so, like, for a creative case. block sometimes yeah. you have you, you have a blog and stuff yeah back, you know, yeah for you to come up with something that funds yeah you right, right. You take a break Great. Now there are genres include alternative rock, we have new metal, alternative metal, rap metal, and of course electronic metal. So um now, from the 1996 Linkin Park rose to international fame with its debut studio album Hybrid Theory. That was their, their, their album that came up in 2000, which was certified Diamond by RIAA in 2005 and went multi platinum in several other count countries. It's the, their second album was, was called Meteora, that was in 2003, continued with a band success, topping the Billboard Top 200 album charts in 2003 and followed by extensive tour and charity work having adapted new metal and rap metal to radio friendly yet densely layered style in their first two albums the band explored other genres on their third album minutes to midnight that's what most guys know minutes to me you know minutes to midnight right no. that's what you don't know they, but that is um, an album which came up in 2007 that's what most guys are familiar with actually and the album topped the billboard charts and it was their third debut it was the it had the third best debut week of any album that year right now our uh, linkin park is among the best selling bands of the 21st century and the world's best selling music artists overall can you believe that, that awesome. world's best selling they deserve music. it over it. yeah yeah Right? Having sold more than 70 million albums worldwide, they have won two Grammy Awards, six American Music Awards, four MTV Video Music Awards, and three World Music Awards. Now, in 2003, MTV2 named the Linkin Park the sixth greatest band of the music video era and the third best of the new millennial. You guys mm -hmm. agree, right? There you go. <laughs> the band was declared as the biggest rock band in the world right now by Kerrang. Hmm? Wow. The, 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 the Kerrang decided that they are the best mm -hmm. in the world right now. Like, uh, they are Courage. even after Chester. Yeah, <coughs> they're still like, yeah. Linkin Park has been on hiatus after a long time. After a long time lead vocalist Chester Bennington died 
from suicide by hanging that was in 2017 july 20th 2017 the other members of the band have yet to decide how to continue moving forward but yes we've seen max shinoda doing some tours alone he's been working on some songs but we don't know maybe they'll come back we need more music from linking park but r.i.p chester it's been two years since chester passed Thanks. away and hashtag the world misses chester hashtag do it for chester you know like yeah. there's so many hashtags that have been okay so since um chester died the wife and the kids they decided to start um they started like a support group for mental awareness because most people are suffering from they have like mental issues and they don't have someone to address or talk about it so they they started this hashtag do it for chester and everybody has been on that hashtag and i think we were supposed to do a tribute for chester after like just two years to honor him but we couldn't do that today so i think we're gonna do that next week we'll play chester That's just so a, a show dedicated to chester in yeah. linking park i think that will be totally amazing but right, right about now i think we're gonna play you a linking park song then come back and read some of your comments on twitter on facebook and instagram as well but right now make sure where do people find you to follow you uh, you follow me on facebook uh -huh. uh, i guess so brenda mm -hmm. on instagram is why brenda mm -hmm. underscore mm -hmm. yes ah yeah, awesome and tony for me on all social platforms my handles are ag underscore nyangaris <coughs> ag right. underscore nyangaris it's a very long name but ag <laughs> underscore nyangaris yeah people get it all right let's go all right so dj likuji on Girl twitter friend. and facebook and on instagram a dj girlfriend <laughs> yes she's changing but i'm still on that the yes, other one but, but still the hashtag is rock254 we're gonna come back with we're gonna come back with more show for you but right about now linking park we're gonna play you a song by linking park and we're coming up to wrap up the show with more music for you a big shout out to grace i can see grace is watching that is linking park i mean who doesn't like linking park if you don't like linking park who do you like the one declared by karen the best rock band in the world so if karen can do that why not you i mean what are you talking like about park, yeah if you don't pay the linking park and they are right you have an issue, have an issue. who doesn't Sida like lp lp <laughs> like Sida they're the gods mm -hmm. they're the gods and when i say gods my name is by the way greatest of all time mm -hmm. get me get me yeah all right now <laughs> twitter my twitter <laughs> people my twitter people hi what's up back yeah, it up i know right you give them a name cindy oh uh Rock. yeah Rock oh Rock. yeah Rock is on twitter yeah, yeah. on twitter yeah, yeah. twitter yeah 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 <laughs> roti rot yes hi rotas so they're rotas just rotting over there <laughs> 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 this case because i'm a you don't even laugh like that <laughs> Anyway, all right. Now I have Bakita. Bakita is saying, "Hi, Philip. He's close. Do you generally could you are now when your favorite band is on top three at six hashtag skillet." Now come here. Bakita is team skillet. You cannot even. You can't I even get her. Yeah. Bakita, but there. By the way. You play Saka Jokarabuni Sam. I was saying, you stop guys, stop guys, stop guys. No, that's why she's home. She's When she's home, she watches. Yeah. When she's home, she watches. Hi, Bakita. Hey, but it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> All right, now I have uh, Steve Anthony. And I say, loving the show, guys. Locked in from County 47. You know 47? No. No, I don't know. County 47. County 47. Nairobi. Yeah, that's it. Come on. I love it. Come on. 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 Come Apa yang ceki? They usually say, "Ono na county zero zero one, county zero forty seven." So I think what I'm is when is zero forty seven. So if you're going to move to forty seven, she's like zero. Imagine to go work last year. Forty six, me guys. Second last. Forty six, me. Forty six. Macam aku nak ni. Check check kamera. 
っとシリアスはい。We are locked in. So, I think that watching from Nakuru, Soweto. Nakuru, kuna police in Soweto? Yeah. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> so, hi, of black. A big shout out to you. Now, I have. Just for sitting there. So, I need you, but. So, I told you. I need you, Soweto. You're South African, I'm Kayole. But, Kak, Nakuru, kuna Soweto. Yeah, South Africa. Yeah, South Africa, they have like the biggest ghetto. That's the weather. So, weather. <laughs> so, you remember that? Like, you did my song back then. All right, now I have Jano Manjaro. <laughs> yeah, that was Kitambo. <laughs> now, Jano Manjaro, and I said, Team White, if I fall, we have Joe. You've made my weekend. I mean, the songs rock. Yeah, keep rocking, right? Yeah. We're wearing keyboard, and I'm watching. All right, Amos Nkuruma, you know he's always here, yeah, right? Amos, 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 Dani, Dani, a rock tour, two, five, four, his skills and feeling. Sure. And of course, to go on a DJ, girlfriend. <laughs> John Gishomo, Sarah, could you snag in a misfit track? A misfit track? watching I have Bonfire Smshiri and Asema loving the music from Kiangai Kirinyaga. What's up, Kirinyaga? Hey, hi, Elvo. But guys, I told you, Elvo. You know, when Elvo was in studio, I was like, eh? I was like, 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 I was Alright, alright, okay, okay, okay. There's so many other guys. Mother Grace, Grace is watching and she's watching all the way. Okay, she didn't tell me where she's watching from, but hi Grace, she's from where? She's from my shagokule. Mother Kule to and I talk about so big shout out to you, Grace. It's been a minute, we need to catch up, right? Now, I'll be shout out to everybody who made the show possible. There's so many people mm-hmm. I still need to shout out at Wait, wait. The guys who made the show oh, by the way, first, before we go, we have an event. This is the event that is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second of August. This and is it's next a diverse Friday. event. I don't next know if we can Friday. get a shot of this. Guys. Yeah, this is the This is how she's, she's my. Let me just read for you the performances. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Now it's a rock divas affair. Yeah. Friday, 2nd August. You guys have been next asking week. for gigs. Now here's a gig. Yeah? This, this is a unique 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. I couldn't go in the home. But it's mm. rocking. You on mosh. Friday. You're moshing the whole that? night. In How town. His girlfriend yes. does that. <laughs> Right. Girlfriend does that. I give so, a I know. Mm. Now the performance is by yeah. Murphy's Flow. When was the last time you saw Murphy's Flow? It's mm. been a minute, right? In Tao. Right? In Tao. Yeah. 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 When you see when ask them, when was the last time you saw Murphy's in Tao? In Tao. Yeah. If you've ever seen Murphy's in Tao, nah. you know what I'm calling you. Akuna. Um, for <laughs> all right. She's coming in for that divas <laughs> affair. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we have um an area. Yeah. I know many guys asking who is in area. Yeah. Who is she? Mm. She's a pop alternative indie. Mm-hmm artist mm-hmm. come and check out awesome Ka- i know most of you rockers haven't seen that right yeah then you have skylar you, yeah, you guys remember, know skylar yeah. skylar was here she was the front one for irony destroyed yeah now she's gone solo she's doing, yeah. a she's doing her own personal projects yeah. yeah so come check out yeah. stuff. go right. pick spoken one mm-hmm. who does that 
apart from Skyla. And of course, we'll have DJ Girlfriend right here. Yeah, She'll be on the decks, decks yes. Yeah. And after that, of course, yeah, yeah, it's a backup. Yeah, it's a backup. It's a diva's affair. It's a backup. So you need to wear the nappy. You need water. Do you need water? Are you sweating too much? Can I get someone to powder your nose? Are you? Yo, you know, it's a backup. And of course, hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's in town. Ru 104. Ru 104. Come mm. on, check out this place. Utali yes, Street. Utali House. Utali mm. Street. Mm. House? Right here. Utali House. How about you? Okay, unajua okay. Kenyans wanajuanga mm-hmm. give them buildings. What would you do? Yeah, no, some Utali House. Utali House. Next to Allianz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now we're talking, yeah. Just after Laiko. See? Now we're talking. Even though Kenya wanajuanga direction, by the way. You talk about... Excuse the buildings that are going. Just, it's all, you know. Right. Next to Mwendas. Yeah, just yeah. very Next much as where we were sometimes on Mondays, me and JR, so if you can right. remember. So damages, it's only a thousand bob. And mm. now there's any pay week. We don't have an excuse. Mm. And then, yeah. for the first 200, there's a cocktail. There's a uh-huh. rock tail. Yeah, uh, rock we are tail. calling it a rock tail. Alright, just doing it. Alright, so, so for tickets, just dial star 222, mm-hmm. 229 hash, star, okay, star 229, star 32 hash, or visit www.mtickets.com mm-hmm. or at feeling zone. Yeah. yeah, just like what dear and hook you up with a ticket yeah. at Liquid Girl okay. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Girlfriend. Okay, but we'll change Kwanza okay, Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, yeah I, change Facebook Facebook and Twitter like with your girlfriend. So at girlfriend at Hugh Skills and then we'll tell you on how you can get your yeah. tickets. <laughs> it's not only a thousand bucks, so you can rock the whole <laughs> night, Maze, the whole night. Any special imagine? offers on drinks, you know how yeah. I do it. Special yeah. offers on drinks as my quick from all drinks, from yeah. cocktails. Right. Mzingas, mm-hmm. beers, such right. So, I feel like we should shout out everybody who made the show possible the juice, the and then get out juice, of here. Now, shout out to Fadili. Fadili is our director, Pale Ju. Uh, shout out to him. Then we have Yvonne, Pale Kwa TC. We have yeah. Faye, Pale Kwa well, Sound. Well, I shout out to you, yeah. Faith. Mm-hmm. I love we have Linda right here. She's been, I don't know, she's not supposed to be working, but she likes to rock too much. She has yeah. to come to work. Yeah, we shout out to Khalifa, Linda. Like DJ Khalifa. If you know me, if you follow me, you know me and Khalifa. We always do, we do gigs together. He's good people and then they live of course the nice mecca yes not forgetting brenda and tony they're still in studio are of course